Every time Buggy hits a new low, you think there's no way he can go he can go lower. But he buckles under the weight of himself and falls down to the next level of degeneracy. So this time he's accused of faking his cancer diagnosis, which is probably one of the worst things you can do. I mean there's not much worse than faking cancer, maybe like CP. That's, that's worse. So as you probably know, he's been involved in a crypto scam where he, he shilled the fatty coin for 10k, which he hasn't been paid yet. And when he got backlash, he starts saying, guys, I had to do it. I couldn't pay for my cancer treatment this month. The bills are too high. I have a mortgage, cancer treatment and other healthcare needs. Which when he says that, you, you feel bad for him. You think that, oh no, he's going through a hard time. He can't pay for all this. Maybe... It's not that bad that he did the crypto scam. But in actuality, there's some missing funds. So Destiny and XQC snuck onto a stream and started questioning him about his cancer situation. Cancer. <laughs> Lead, Boogie lies about cancer than to hand this shit over to you pieces of shit. That's, that's How just, about this? I'd rather can do you that. Get, I'd rather can you do get that. Go ahead, print Boogie. it, Go ahead and print. Can you get your patient portal up on your phone? And like send it sure. to Tommy. And I'm not going to. Sure, he's, not, he's never doing that. He does not have a cancer he's diagnosis. Not, There's zero percent chance he has one. And, and, and you won't prove it. No. You won't prove no. it. I'd rather if, you go ahead and print it. If print this it. is true, ahead, if this it. is true, and you lied go about ahead, cancer, this is the biggest scandal on the fucking internet. It's not. But go ahead and print it anyway. Go ahead and print it anyway. It's going. I prove it. Prove it. None of you motherfuckers. Fucking prove it. Years ago, and I'm not doing it today. Go right ahead. Print it. Print it the way it is. Go right ahead. I'm okay, it, with okay, so I guess just to wrap up, because we don't want to take all your guys' time tonight. So just as a couple things, right? So the story as laid out, yeah. if you look up secondary polycythemia versus polycythemia vera, all of the leading things that Boogie talks about leading to his condition are consistent with secondary polycythemia, not the mutation that would cause polycythemia vera. The things that Boogie says that his doctor wants him to check for afterwards, like doing a sleep study, are consistent with uh, secondary polycythemia, not and primary also, polycythemia. Poly and the fact that he yeah. Says, almost, the fact that he says that he had the blood markers or something to confirm it two years ago, but is now getting a biopsy for secondary confirmation, even though he says he doesn't have the money for medical bills, but I guess now that he does have money, he's going to waste all of it on biopsying things that are already confirmed or at least confirmed enough that he wanted to talk about it publicly for two years ago and then use it to fundraise the money that he now has so that he can do the biopsy. But I don't think he's doing, by the way. I don't think he's actually doing that. So, does he? To summarize. Dustin, if you wanted to disprove it, all he has to do is show a private party this particular okay, medical me, thing. And, uh, and yeah, it would be... To, 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 to summarize, to summarize, Jesse, you're basically saying he's kind of unlucky he doesn't have cancer. Uh, I mean, for this particular case, yeah. <laughs> I mean, if, you want, if, if, Boogie can confirm, if Boogie can confirm that he has polycythemia vera, um, nope. and he actually has like a doctor confirmation of the blood cancer, I'll throw $5,000 towards his medical treatment. I'll make that personal pledge right now. <laughs> no fuck, no fuck. You, Hey, you 10, need the money. You need You're not seeing my medical records for twenty, not for fifty. You're not seeing my medical Five records. Five grand. I said this. I said this to your medical records. Oh, you now. Okay, so that, I just want people to remember in the future. Then, when Boogie says I have to do X Y Z scam to raise money because my medical bills are hurting so much, he can speak publicly about his medical issues to scam his fans to raise money, but he can't take five thousand dollars to privately confirm a diagnosis that he already publicly says he has. Doesn't make any sense, but even I, even I, even I have a fucking limit. Even I have a fucking limit. What's the limit, though? It's a bad yeah, limit. I, mean, I, I think you can probably medical understand medical. that he, uh, you know, there's a, a big history of people, I guess, scamming people with cancer, and it's like the worst of the worst. Sure. And you're getting confronted sure. with that right now when your yep. response yep. to that is, no, nah. Go ahead. Go I'm ahead. Not, I'm not going ahead. Go I'm ahead. just, Go I'm ahead. asking ahead. you. Go right the fuck ahead. I don't care. I'm not, I'm, what am I? I'm not going ahead with this. He's anything. trying to. He's speaking to you. Very no, I'm politely. saying run, run, run with the story. I don't care. Why... No, is he faking his cancer? I don't know. I literally have no clue. That would be very bad. I don't know anything medical wise, but the reason I think there's a chance he's faking it is because someone offered him 80 grand to prove that he has cancer. And he didn't even have to show it to the masses. He just had to show it to a trusted third party, Keemstar. I don't know if Keemstar is a trusted third party. But he had to show it to Keemstar and he would have made 80 grand, but he refused to. And now 80 grand to Buggy 298 is life-changing money.
He's in such a hole. He's in so much debt, medical debt, house debt, and he he's really struggling. 80k would change his life for the better, but he won't show his medical records to one person. And I think that's because there's no medical records that say he has cancer. He has one thing that can be caused by cancer, but it's not cancer. Or at least I don't know yet. So that's the most sus thing ever, man. If I got 80k to show some of my cancer diagnosis, I would do it in two seconds. I don't know why he's not doing it. If it's if he, it's, well, it's because he doesn't have cancer. Probably that's probably why. So he's using this cancer as a shield of wrongdoing. It's like, oh, I did bad. I have cancer. Aww. I have cancer. Mm. And this is where it gets so much worse. So we got on a call with Coffeezilla. And Coffeezilla said, listen, Buggy, you know you've done bad now. And he was like, yeah, no, I wouldn't have done it. And he said, right, if you wouldn't have done it now, just refund everyone who got scammed. He said, no, I'm coming at you through the power of the internet. And that money is already spilt to the medical center. I've already spent all the money to wipe out medical debt. And Coffeezilla said, well, let, let, show me your bank account. And in his bank account, there was five grand. <laughs> so the money wasn't spent. It was sitting in his bank account. He lied. So then when Coffeezilla questioned him about it, he got very annoyed. 28th. That's on June 28th. You showed me a payment for 550 on June 28th, which is after we talked, after you told me the money was all gone. Have you never heard of the colloquialism? Yeah, that money's all gone. It's all spent. I have a specific thing I need to do with it. Have you never heard that colloquialism? Use fucking Google then. It's very common. I'm saying. I'm not used to this level of scrutiny. I'm not I can used tell. to this level of yes. scrutiny. Yes. Man, the things I would do to see a face cam on that man there and then. Oh my god. This, yeah, this is a guilty man. This is a very guilty man. He's just, he feels attacked and he's attacking. It's a, did you never hear anyone say that before? Normally when you say, my money is... <laughs> Normally when you say, my money has been spent to a medical center, his money's already gone. That normally means your money's gone. It doesn't mean your money's going to be gone. It's not really a figure. I guess it can be in some situations, but the way you use the buggy... It, you were saying it was it was already gone. It was not fit a figure of speech. So then Coffeezilla said, okay, I believe you, but can you put the five grand in your account to help the people who you scam? Guess guess what he said. Guess what Boogie said. He said no. Fucking liar! You paid about twenty five hundred. Like you're you're set. You're also talking about money you haven't spent, which you're trying to add up to three thousand dollars. That's not the five thousand dollars you said was gone. And then you're taking. Well, I told you it was four thousand when we started this conversation, but of course you're lying about that too. Boogie, can you explain exactly how you started the month with eight hundred dollars, ended it with five thousand? You're saying the five thousand dollars you made from a crypto scam has nothing to do with it. I saved my ass off. That's right. The five thousand dollars Boogie made from a crypto scam has nothing to do with the five thousand dollars sitting in his bank account right now. That's there because he pinched his pennies. Now, when I pointed out, Boogie could have refunded the scam if he wanted to. He freaked out and told me he's got a mortgage to pay. Boogie, you need to pay that $5,000 back. You need to find a way to refund Fuck people. You, it's spent. If I do, I won't have It's not mortgage. spent. You, you have $5,000. No, well, I can't. I won't have mortgage. The thing about that is it's common knowledge that Lil Cow Live, his podcast, pays for his mortgage every month and this is when he just starts going on a lying spree to get himself out of it so he says the reason he can't pay the five grand back is because keemstar isn't paying him for lol kill live this month because they're doing it in person in keemstar's house and keemstar's not comping the travel so he's spending all his money on travel which is just a lie <laughs> Which makes Keemstar seem horrible and doesn't really make that much sense. So Coffeezilla contacted Keemstar and Keemstar said, No, everything's paid for. I paid for everything. <laughs> so Boogie just starts lying there, here, everywhere. Just lies, lies, lies. And then he ends the call by saying, Listen, man, I know you're just doing your job. And I respect 
the platform you gave me and I'll never speak bad on you. And then he went in his own podcast and said this. I should have never talked to CoffeeZilla to begin with. It was a joke, CoffeeZilla. Who told you That's that? A, oh, who, of course you who, fucking did. Much you less that? a who second you? fucking time. Then in this, by the way, CoffeeZilla records you without telling you he records That's you. Not Name true. a he YouTuber told, does this. He told no, me. he did in the first time. In the first time. He lies to get his own way and he feels zero guilt, <laughs> which is kind of crazy. And I really just hope Buggy doesn't buckle under the weight of all the pressure he's dealing with and leave the internet because he gives some great content. He does give some great content. Okay, bye.